Hi everyone, this is Glenda Ganzon and welcome to my Human Anatomy and Physiology class. And for today's video, I'm going to discuss the functions of the skeletal system. So stay tuned. Kick. Bone or osseous tissue is a hard, dense connective tissue that forms most of the adult skeleton, the support structure of the body. In the areas of the skeleton where bones move, for example, the rib cage and joints, cartilage, which is a semi-rigid form of connective tissue, provides flexibility and smooth surfaces for movement. So the skeletal system is the body system composed of bones and cartilage and performs the following critical functions for the human body. So the first function is it supports the body. The second function is it facilitates movement. The third is it protects internal organs. The fourth is it produces blood cells. And the last one is it stores and releases mineral and fat. So the most apparent function of the skeletal system are the gross functions or those that are visible by observation. Simply by looking at the person, you can see how the bones support, facilitate movement, and protect the human body. Just as the steel beams of a building provide a scaffold to support its weight, the bones and cartilage of your skeletal system compose of a scaffold that supports also the rest of your body. So without the skeletal system, you would be a limp mass of organs, muscles, and skin. And bones also facilitate movement by serving as points of attachment for your muscles. So while some bones only serve as a support for the muscles, others also transit or transmit the forces produced when your muscles contract. And from a mechanical point of view, bones act as levers and joints serve as fulcrums. Unless a muscle expands a joint and contracts, a bone is not going to move. For information on the interaction of the skeletal and muscular system, that is, the musculoskeletal seek additional content. So bone also protect internal organs from injury by covering or surrounding them. For example, your ribs protect your lungs and heart. The bones of your vertebral column or your spine protect your spinal cord and the bones of your cranium or what you call as your skull protect your brain. On a metabolic level, bone tissue performs several critical functions. For one, the bone matrix acts as a reservoir for number of minerals important to the functioning of the bodies especially calcium and potassium and these minerals incorporated into the bone tissue and can be released back into the bloodstream to maintain levels needed to support physiological processes calcium ions for example are essential also for muscle contraction and controlling the flow of other ions involved in the transmission of nerve impulses so bone also serves as a site or a site for fat storage and blood cell production. The softer connective tissue that fills the interior of the most bone is referred to as the bone marrow. There are also two types of bone marrow, the yellow marrow and the red marrow. So what is a yellow marrow? Yellow marrow contains adipose tissue. The triglycerides is stored in the adipocytes of the tissue and can serve as a source of energy. How about the red marrow? The red marrow is where the hematopoiesis, which is the production of blood cells, takes place and red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets are all produced in the red marrow. So in addition to our main topic, which is the functions of the skeletal system, let me just add this to you. So what is the doctor for the skeletal problem? It is an orthopedist. So what is an orthopedist? An orthopedist 
is a doctor who specializes in diagnosing and treating disorders and injuries related to the muscus musculoskeletal system and some orthopedic problems can be treated with medications exercises braces and other devices but other may be best treated with surgery so while the origin of the word orthopedics ortho means straight and paid means child so literally it means straightening the child or 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 orthopedist can have patient who range from pediatric to geriatric in recent years orthopedists have been performed prenatal surgery to correct spina bifida that is a congenital defect in which the neural canal in the spine of the female fails to close completely during embryo embryologic development so orthopedists commonly treat bone and joint injuries but they also treat other bone conditions including curvature of the spine lateral curvatures or what we call as the scoliosis can be severe enough to slip under the shoulder blade or what we call as the scapula forcing it up as a hump so spinal curvatures can also be excessive dorsoventrally or what we call as kyphosis causing a hunchback and thoracic compression so these curvatures often appear in pre-teens as a result of poor posture abnormal growth or intermediate causes mostly they are readily treated as or they are read, uh, readily treated by orthopedist as people age accumulated spinal column injuries and diseases like osteoporosis can also lead to curvatures of the spine hence the stooping you sometimes see in the elderly and some orthopedists uh, specialize in sports medicine also which addresses both simple injuries such as a sprained ankle and complex injuries such as torn rotator cuff in the shoulder and treatment can range from exercise to surgery so that ends my discussion about the functions of the skeletal system let me enumerate them once again number one is it supports the body number two is it facilitates movement number three is it protects internal organs number four is it produces blood cells and number five it stores and releases minerals and fat so if you have any question please write it in the comment section down below and i'll be glad to answer them all and once again i would like to thank you all for watching this video and for listening to my discussion until my next video bye everyone